Hey y'all, it's Betsy from Happily Ever After Etc. and I am back with another tablescape. So today I am finally, a little late, a lot late, changing my table from the Valentine's Day table we did a couple months ago to an Easter table, which honestly, like Valentine's Day is by far my second favorite holiday, but my Easter tablescape is by far my second favorite tablescape. Um, I did this exact tablescape almost a couple years ago at my mom's house out in the garden for a garden party. Um, we're changing it up just a bit inside. I've gotten some new bits and pieces to add to the table. Um, and we're just going to see kind of how it comes together because I have beautiful Easter bunny plates, got beautiful Easter eggs, both resin and iridescent glass that I've collected and made over the years. I've now got beautiful iridescent glasses to go with the eggs. Um, so we're just gonna kinda start putting it all together and see what it looks like. I really am excited about this, but of course, in order to put up the Easter table, we have to take down the Valentine's Day table. So I'm gonna go ahead and do that real quick and then we will get started. I know for sure we are going to be using the Easter, they're not Easter bunnies, they're bunny plates that I have, um, and those iridescent elements as well as the eggs. But other than that, I'm not 100% sure what I'm gonna be using. Um, might be the same elements as last time, might be a little different. So we'll just have to see how it comes together, but I am going to go ahead and start. If you didn't see the Valentine's Day video, these were my great grandmother's bowls that my mom gave me for Christmas. So very special to me. I was very excited to set a table with them. And I use a lot of my pink depression glass collection to have just all these shades of pink. I have pink depression glass salad plates, but I am currently on the hunt for dinner plates. So ever get dinner plates we might just have to go wild and do a completely 100 percent depression glass table wouldn't that be fun Okay, y'all, so I went ahead and I just got the base of the new Easter table down on the, on the table <laughs> before coming back to the tucking version of the video. Um, so basically I put a runner down. I don't really need a runner except that my table is older and the middle of the table isn't so pretty. So I like to always put a runner down even if I don't necessarily need one just to cover that up. Um, but I did decide to go with four placements, my Buffalo check chargers, and the pink plates. So that makes the perfect base for my Easter bunny plates. Now, like I said, these aren't specifically for Easter. They are just bunnies, um, but they are beautiful. They're from Southern Living. They are part of the Easter collection. They're just not overtly Easter. Like they don't say happy Easter. But that's kind of what I like. So technically these could fall right into spring. I think once Easter is over, I will come back and I will show you how I convert this Easter table to a spring table by taking away some of those eggs and more overtly Easter touches and switch them out to just more spring neutral things. But I'm gonna pause here for two seconds to show you the plates up close. And let's get back to the table. So if you watch any of my Lula May series, so my house, this is a manufactured house called the Lula May. And um, I did a whole series on when I bought it, when it was delivered, and most recently on the things they needed to come fix. Because like any house, there's always fixes 
And one of the things they had to fix was they had to lower the chandelier because it was literally like two lengths from the ceiling, which was just ridiculous. But now that it's lowered to actual dining room chandelier height, um, it makes this tree a little hard to put in the exact middle of the table. Last year when I did, I did a spring tablescape with this. I'll link to that as well. And I had pretty light bulbs on it. Um, resin light bulbs that I made with flowers. I had it right in the middle of the table and it was perfect with the high chandelier. And I could easy go grab a jump ring and hire, raise up the chandelier for a month or so. And I may do that, but I don't have a jump ring handy. So for now, we've just kind of just opposed our little tree base, I guess you can call it. And that is good enough for me. So let me grab the resin eggs that I made that I'm going to put on this. Okay, so here they are. I have quite a few different ones and I made these three or four years ago. So you can see they have held up just fine. They haven't yellowed or anything. This was actually the very first resin project I ever made. This is what started the obsession and got me into all of the resin projects we've made since then. And this was literally the first project I made and then the first tablescape that I made with resin pieces. And at the time I used some kind of, you know, the craft colored tan mossy kind of stuff um, to nest these into on the tree. However, I don't have any of that this year. What I do have is quite a few bags of this um, moss that's pink and purple colored that I bought for resin projects. I want to put them in resin, but I literally got them on clearance at like Hobby Lobby, Michaels, some kind of craft store. I don't remember. I'm going to see if I can't use some of it just to make little nests on its own. I don't see why I couldn't. Very similar to what I used last time. So I'm just gonna kind of place it. Oh, it's gonna make a big mess. Well, that's kind of to be expected, right? egg in here to hold it all together. Put it this way. Have to... There we go. I think we're going to have to um, get the shot back out. <laughs> That's really cute though. Alright, so clean this up before we get too far. And I could shot back it up, but I don't want to lose it. little pieces up. All right, so there's one. Definitely think I want to put one here. Let's see if we can't get some of this other, like, well, no, we'll do purple again. times the charm. Last time I kind of made the nest, situated the egg in it, and then tried to transfer it. Put this just directly underneath. Let's see if we can't make this work. this point, short of carefully moving the tree off the table, vacuuming everything and starting over, you're never going to get all this junk off. 
So we are going to embrace it. And I think I'm going to try to make a little nest for this egg down here. This one, I mean this one because he does not have the base. iridescent glasses. I got them specifically for this tablescape to go with these eggs. Right, so pretty good. Let's get some silverware, I think. because I'm not sure just thinking that it won't the copper will be a little attention grabbing which is usually what I like about it but in this case I want the eggs and the iridescentness to shine One short, one short, one fork short. Now I do have this little guy for eggs, but I don't think I have room on this table. So instead I'm just gonna go with my matching little Easter dish. And here with the serving spoon. And then I guess let's Let's call that good. That moss just made a huge mess. And let's address the sideboard. So, this. eggs there. I always like to tie the sideboard in, and by sideboard I mean my pie safe. Right. Now I can make whole resin eggs, but I like that these half ones nest really well, and that they're easy to put on things like this egg plate. I should just move this chair out of the way when I'm doing these tablescapes. I'm just like completely out of the room until I'm done.
go. We've got our little bunnies. Got our eggs. I think the table is done. Last but not least, my collection of really cute Valentine's Day gnomes that I keep on my secretary. Which I'm now going to replace with my cute collection of Easter gnomes because I love keeping gnomes on the secretary and I change them out for the seasons. I mean, just look at those little bunny ears. How is that not cute? So we've got our pie safe, our table, and the secretary all decorated for Easter. I have a few extra bunnies and eggs that I'm going to pop up on the island, and we're going to call this done. So if you watched through the whole video, thank you. I'm going to bring you in for a closer look at everything, so don't worry, you are going to get to see it. But leave a comment down below, especially if you watched last the last Easter tablescape I did with these eggs and this tree. Did you like this moss? I really thought I was going to love it because it's such fun colors and it has that bright pop, but it is so messy compared to the other craft kind of crinkly paper moss. So um, go check that out if you haven't and then leave me a comment down below on whether you prefer this moss because it's beautiful and fun, even if it is a bit messy or if you like the other moss, even though it's not as colorful because it is so much easier to work with. <laughs> that is my main question. <laughs> so I'd love to know what y'all think. I think I'm leaning towards this moss, but I think I might try to find a way to make it less messy in the future. Don't know what. All right, let's get y'all a closer look and then I am going to go, I guess, make something for dinner. Bye y'all. Okay, so close up, I come in and of course our actual place setting, we have the Buffalo check chargers with the pink dinner plates and the bunnies and our scalloped placemats, silver, silverware, and then our iridescent cups. Oh, I love those, especially with the iridescent eggs. And then the stars of the show are little resin eggs. They were a pain to get up here, but I think they're just gorgeous and they are a beautiful nod to Easter. I even like the moss. I mean, look at that. 
And I like that the moss shines through a little bit and gives you that color behind the eggs, which is just beautiful. Apparently, I was going to use these. I didn't, we don't really need them, but you can also see back here, we have our bunnies and we have our little Easter eggs. Now we don't really need the bunnies. I have uh, silverware back here and this does overcrowd it like, as we say a touch, but a lot, but I just really like the bunnies. And typically I would not have them here. I would put them on a different table, but for Easter dinner, I just kind of want to have the whole thing set for Easter. So we're going to make an allowance and then we'll move them over the TV cabinet where they usually live. We've got our little serving dish. And there we go. I hope you guys liked this video. really wobbly, I'm sorry. Just a few more eggs and bunnies over here, along with our main serving plate that we'll put whatever we end up cooking on to bring to the table. Last but not least, I will show you the little secretary. I need to bring this table over to mom's house. He's kind of in the way here. But look how cute those bunnies are. Ah, little ears. I will link to their tutorial as well, but I just think they're so cute. So cute. Cute enough I bring them out every year. All right, y'all. If you liked this video, like, comment, subscribe. Tell your friends, show your mom. See you in the next one.